So for this breakdown, we're going to take a look at Cade Cunningham's defense against the Cavs. And first, I talk all the time about his high basketball IQ, but he can get ball watching a little bit. So here, Sadiq's communicating that he's going to come up, that he's a low man. Like, I think this is a little aggressive from Sadiq, but it did look like they talked about it, communicated it. And you see Cade just lose track a little bit on the weak side of both guys. He's got a tag. You see Sadiq look at him a little bit. So I do believe that was Cade's fault. I just want to be completely fair because I'm going to give him a lot of love off the ball in this breakdown. Here on the ball is a little bit of a mixed bag. So in transition against Stevens, you see him do a good job. He, he plays with his hips, like with his torso quite a bit, giving up his body. And I think as he gets stronger, he's going to hold up in situations like that. There you see he's just able to get pushed off. And we've seen that a couple times from Cade Cunningham in situations similar to that. I love this from Cade. I think this is big time. I think this is going to win the Pistons a playoff game down the road. Okay, He's not standing here on the weak side against Okora. He comes in and he helps get a box out. And yeah, he pushes off, but I just love that he recognizes it. Those are winning plays late in games that are going to decide things. And I just think it's huge that as a rookie, he's already making those plays. Again, I say there's a mixed bag on the ball. You see here he gets a little bit off Garland. Now he's got to close out. You see the wide open hips. We're going to see it again later. And Garland just a little bit too quick for him to stay in front of. Is able to attack, dump it off to Mobley for the layup. Now here against Karis LeVert, we see a really good rep. I think he does a good job staying in front. He holds it. He doesn't let him get just a straight line to the rim. Makes it a tough shot. Again, as some of the practical strength and maybe even just here Olenek getting in his way, not really able to elevate and contest. Tough finish from LeVert, but I don't mind that rep from Cade Cunningham. Here he does a great job earlier in this possession holding up against Mobley, but then you're going to see, so he has a tendency to do this. He likes to really step towards the offensive player, not give a little bit of ground, and if he doesn't hold up, then he gets blown by like Okora does there. Later in the game, he does it against Levert, and he actually stymies him and stops the drive, but there you can see the issues. If he doesn't, then he gets beat. How some, I told you that he has some really good low man reps in this game. Probably his best. So here he's low man. Drive coming from marketing on Sadiq Bay and comes across and gets the nice block. I'm not saying he's going to be able to do that every time, but I thought in this game particularly you saw some of those. Nice job here. Off the ball, getting through the screen from Mobley. Gets back in front of Levert. And there you see, like with his body, he, he plays with that lower half. But here he's able to keep moving his feet and stay in front. Levert's... Uh, mishandles the ball and forces a turnover. So really nice possession there from Cade. Here again, on Levert. Again, a lot more on-ball possessions in this breakdown. Cade gets through there. He's there on the catch. Perfect. Now we're going to watch what we've seen in the last breakdown. Right now, he's pretty square. Not bad. Watch here as we move forward right. If we go back just a little bit right here, he has his hips completely turned. See how his hips are completely turned? Now it is to some help, but now what Leverse is going to get him to do is now he gets him to completely flip. He attacks that top foot, and he's able to go by and get a finish. So just some small things for the youngster to improve on going into next season. Here's the biggest thing for me, because I think he's really good off ball. The possession before this, he let Levert get a three. And then here again on Kevin Love, just too far off. I know you want to help on Garland, but too far off. Not really in a stance. Tough recovery. Doesn't get there quick enough. And Kevin Love knocks down a three. So again, just something he can improve on. On ball here against Garland. Think he does a good job again. He stays in front. Now, Osmond's going to end up banging the three. But I thought he get a good job staying in front there on Garland. So again, it was a mixed bag. Some really good. And then some not so good possessions on the ball. Low man. Love this. Great rotation from Cade Cunningham. This is a layup from marketing. If he doesn't come, again, a little bit of strength. Maybe he's able to push him out a little bit more, but still makes a tough shot from what could have been a wide open layup. And then my favorite possession of the game. So he was low man before this. Corey Joseph had switched on to Mobley. He scram switched to get the better matchup. And then now he's going to hold up against Mobley. He did this back to back possessions where he scram switched on to Mobley and kept Mobley from getting a bucket. Just great low man off ball awareness from Cade Cunningham.